you had some uh, websites that you wanted to talk about, or would you like to go over the book a little bit more at this time? Um, yeah, just very quickly, I wanted to share share with you some, some trends that are going on around the country in similar neighborhoods where um, both longtime residents and new, newcomers to the area have um, discovered their the history of their neighborhood and started promoting it. And a number of these have uh, set up their own websites, for example. In the Harvey Park neighborhood in southwest Denver, where a number of homes were built by Cliff May, um, who was one of the pioneers of the ranch-style home, um, they have a, a nice website called harveyparkmodern.com um, that was featured in, in the Modern in Denver magazine. And um, they do everything from provide resources about these kinds of houses and promote their, their preservation and, and adaptive uh, reuse to um, serving as sort of a uh, communication vehicle for the neighborhood, um, to, for people in the neighborhood to talk to one another informally. And in other cases, they've, um, they've been used by realtors to promote sort of the rediscovery of the neighborhood and encourage people to buy homes in the area. In a few cases, like one in, uh, in the Santa Clara Valley in California, they've actually branched out and um, started highlighting some of the mid-century modern commercial buildings in and around the area. Um, and, and they create little uh, walking tours of the neighborhoods and so forth. And I think it would be really exciting if, if someone in one of these neighborhoods would develop a website about the neighborhood. But I'll pass these around and you can look at them. Um, and as I mentioned at the first meeting, um, there's this popular magazine called Atomic Ranch, which promotes the um, uh, rediscovery of these kind of neighborhoods. And there's another example in here of Lakewood Village in uh, California with some similar style houses and uh, that was featured in this magazine where they've also developed a website. Uh, and then also uh, the Crescent Park neighborhood down in Denver has done some similar things. Every year they have a house tour and they have a website now. They're in southeast Denver, actually, not too far from where I live. Um, there's two similar neighborhoods in, in Denver. They're down near um, Jewel and Holly, that area, and then north of there in, in, uh, in the Virginia Village neighborhood. I'll pass those around. I think Florida sure. is the street um, to, that defines the, the edge of uh, one of them to the north and the other one to the south That's as right. well, and, uh, east of Colorado Boulevard. Yeah, great neighborhoods. If, uh, if you've never been there and you'll recognize a lot of your house styles down there as well. And, and that neighborhood in particular um, is a good example of neighborhoods where they've done a number of renovations restorations of these houses uh, with, with a really positive effect on the, the neighborhood. There's a magazine called Modern in Denver uh, that focuses on mid-century modern just in the Denver metro area and actually the gentleman that's the brains behind that owns a house in uh, Crescenta Park, I believe. I'm just going to flip back quickly to the slide with, whoops, maybe it won't let me do that, let's see, here we go, um, with the six housing types on them in Allendale and Alta Vista that were the predominant housing types chosen for the pattern and design idea book, and each of those posters that you see has one of those housing types on it with uh, what is the original floor plan and then a modification of the floor plan but staying within the footprint and then uh, down below is an addition onto the house and so we would love to get your input and feedback on what has been developed. Uh, the intent was to allow for aging in place, universal design, expanding families where there are multi-generations under one roof so if there are ideas that you like about those, please jot them on a post-it note and slap it up there. Or if there are things that you think we should have considered 
in the designs and should be added to them if you would be so kind to provide that feedback as well. Because as Kim mentioned, we would like to finalize the pattern and design idea book for these um, post-war neighborhoods and we can only do that um, if we get some um, feedback from you. So we appreciate your assistance on that. 